What's going on guys, Storm6678 back with another video. Now this is going to be a super short, super simple uh, tutorial. Not really a tutorial, more of like uh, just general tips um, overall for how to make After Effects run a little bit faster and a little bit smoother. Um, so not a lot of people understand this. But the difference between Sony Vegas and After Effects is when you play it back. So right here, I'm going to click the space bar. Right now, it's rendering in real time. So this is pre-rendering or like rendering for the preview. And that's whoops. And that's what this green line is. So then you can like watch it out. Now that takes up a lot of time and it gets frustrating when it starts to go frame by frame especially when you have um super sampling on like 3d text and ambient occlusion and all that like fancy stuff it gets kind of quote unquote laggy although it's not actually lag uh like slow or whatever so a couple uh tips and tricks to uh resolve this issue is the first one I'm going to go over is not many people really know how to do this uh, or about this, at least from my experience, like talking to people. But what you're going to do is you're going to go to edit and you're going to go to purge and you're going to go all memory and disk cache. Now, right now, I only have 1.1 gigs and then you click OK. So essentially what that does, I'll explain it real quick. So the issue with that is your ssd so like all that gigs of disk cache is saved to your ssd your ssd is constantly writing and reading from that saved kind of render i'm putting my air quotes up right now you can't really you can't see me but um yeah so that your ssd is reading to and from that and those reads slow down the process of after effects so purging that disk cache all memory and disk cache allows you to free up that SSD space and just have After Effects run more uh, reliantly on your CPU and GPU. Uh, I, I wouldn't recommend doing that frequently, but if you're working for like say an hour or so, like I worked for a couple hours and I had like 141 gigs of disk cache. And it just, it, it builds up. So if your After Effects is slowing down for any reason, that should be the first thing you check. Second thing, um, to make After Effects run faster, uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this or already do this, but when you're previewing, uh, if you're on a desktop, it's a lot easier. If you're on a laptop, this might be a little difficult, especially to see things, but you can make you should make the uh, render preview either half, third, or quarter. Um, now I know that it makes it fuzzy, but when it makes it fuzzy, if you zoom out, right, and balance, like pick up your timeline or whatever and make this smaller, it isn't processing as many frames per, uh, <laughs> per second I should say um, but it's per it's just every frame or whatever when it render previews it doesn't like preview that many frames so if I like play it back right that rendered pretty quick so from 10 frames to whatever the 30 frames that was pretty quick now if I do full and I pull this down and fit this to the screen right see how long this takes much slower right so that's another way you can kind of speed up your workflow and um preview things faster i always work in half uh and i make this like probably 50 i probably do like 50 percent uh most of the time but you can go as low as you want really uh as long as you're comfortable with seeing a certain amount and then obviously when you play it back um you'll get a sense of what you're editing and all that stuff. So those are the two tips I have for speeding up After Effects and kind of helping with your workflow. Um, 
just a heads up, I'm going to be uploading uh, an edit in the TCEC uh, contest results this week. So make sure you uh, subscribe and turn notifications on so you can catch those videos. Um, I also wanted to apologize for the content video I released yesterday. Uh, <laughs> I know it's shit, but I needed to upload something, so I thought it was kind of funny. Some of you enjoyed it. Uh, comment down below if you like stuff like that but i mean i'm mainly an editing channel so i'm gonna try to stick to that um and then maybe some commentaries here and there but not necessarily the quote-unquote content videos that i posted yesterday anyways uh that's all i have for today uh remember to like comment subscribe if you have any questions uh just let me know below or dm me on instagram at the storm 6678 it'll be in the description um other than that, uh, have a wonderful day. Any sports appreciated, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.